I'm Dan Galusha and welcome to another edition of Shoot and Plank. Hey, today we've got kind of a, I guess you'd say request. I had people asking about an ammunition that CCI puts out. It's another one of the quiet ones, like I use a lot, but this one is a semi-auto. Couldn't really answer the question, I never used it, but thanks to the folks at uh, Sportsman's Guide, I was able to find some there and got that and they got my shipment out, thank heavens. And so I'm going to be able to show you, but you know, I really don't know about this. Uh, I got a hold of my contact at CCI and he says, yes, it will cycle through your semi-automatics. This is only 800 and, well, let's take a look. Here's what the box looks like. See, it's a, it's a little different than your your normal CCI box because it's got semi-auto, what have you. You know, no big deal. Uh, but it's uh, got like 835 feet per second. Now, normally, your semi-autos are saying that you need it at least, you know, 1,250, 1,260 feet per second. This has got a 45 grain bullet. Instead of a 40, it's a 45. And some of your quiet don't even have that. It's got 20. So this is going to be interesting to see how this works. And how am I going to test it out? Well, I'm going to test it out with more than one gun, and I'll show you. i got a couple of Brownings. Uh, a Browning 1911-22. Now, this one has been very finicky on wanting that higher uh, velocity. So we'll see what that does. I've got a Browning Buckmark. And a buckmark will eat just about anything, but I've never gone real low to quiets. I mean, once I got down to 710, that was it. Then, we got another Ruger, and that's an SR-22. Uh, that one's been pretty good at not being real finicky either, so we'll see how that does. I've already got all these loaded. And for the rifles, we got probably one of the most popular 22 rifles out there. It's a 10-22, a Ruger 10-22, and we're going to, I've got that all loaded up too. And what I did, you might remember from one of my other videos, I had the big 25 round banana clip. Well, I'm using the standard one that comes with the rifle, and we're going to see how that works with it. That's why I wanted it, because cycling a lot of times is, just, you know, your, your magazine can even make the difference. A lot of times it can make the difference. So we're going to get to down here and we're going to fire these at a gong. No big deal on really accuracy or anything like that. We're just going to see how this works. So uh, let's get around here and we're going to take a look at the gong. We're going to start shooting. All right, I got you uh, setting it uh, about 10 yards, I guess. Uh, I'm going to be moving back because I think I'm going to try the uh, uh, rifle first, the 1022, and see how that works. And I've got ear protection on it. Because uh, I really don't know how loud this stuff is. Like like I said, I've never used it. It's supposed to be quiet, so I shouldn't really need it. With other quiet ammo, I don't. It's no louder than an air gun. But I'm not too sure about this. And I know it's going to be louder with the pistols. So uh, let's get this uh, 1022 and Ruger 1022, and we'll see what we can do with it. All 10 rounds cycled in the 1022, so that looks good. Now we're going to try with some of the pistols. I think I'll go with the Browning, the uh, 1911 22, because uh, that one, I'm just not too sure on this one. All 10 rounds. Well, hey, that's impressive. So, I'll go to, how about going back to Ruger now? 
We'll see what it does with the Ruger SR22 and how that works out. All 10 rounds. All right. So far, so good. So now, we're going to go with the Browning Buckmark. All 10 rounds. Now that's pretty good. For an 835 feet per second, it cycled four different guns there. And uh, no hiccups whatsoever. Fantastic. Well, you know, uh, I didn't think that was all that bad. It cycled just like it should, no problem. And I, don't know, I couldn't really see how well it was hitting, but to me it looked like it was hitting right there in the center. I mean, you could see that. So the stuff was pretty doggone accurate because I was, I was doing it quick, but I was aiming more for the center, and it really looks to me like that's where it was grouping is right up there in the center with, with all four guns. And again, this is the CCI Quiet 22 Semi-Auto. Now, as far as quiet goes, I don't know, I, I had my headset on, I had my ear protection, and I could still hear it enough that I got a feeling I'd probably want my ear protection on. Uh, you should anyway, but uh, you know, when you're shooting air guns, you usually don't. And like I said, a lot of your other regular quiet ammo, uh, it, it's really, really quiet, especially when you fire it like in any sort of a rifle like this, but it will not cycle through with a semi-auto where this will again it's got a 45 grain bullet velocity is 835 feet per second and I fired the Ruger 1022 because like I said that's about as popular a 22 as you hear of everybody seems like they've got one so that's a good one to shoot it with uh, the Browning Buckmark which you know I wasn't too sure because the lowest velocity I had ever fired in this before was 1070 and I thought that was kind of impressive and uh, by golly it went down to this 835. This one is the one that really impressed me was the Browning 1911-22. Uh, this one, I, the only problem I had was right at first was getting it to actually rack the round. It just would not do it. I don't know why. But uh, I like this and I kind of shook it around. Could have been that I just didn't get that first round loaded in there because it's no problem after that. But uh, it cycled and that impressed me because of the fact that I did try 1070 in this before nothing it would not cycle this gun but this 835 did very strange isn't it but uh, it worked now this one this really wasn't a big surprise to me that this one cycled due to the fact that it's about like the buck mark as far as cycling lower velocity ammo uh, I have fired 1070 in this one as well. It had a few hiccups, but that was back when we fired this gun and there were hiccups like crazy. It didn't matter what you did and then Ruger replaced this and this gun has worked fantastically since the other one was taken and actually they destroyed the other one. Uh, there was definitely a problem with it, but this one, uh, this SR-22 has worked great as you could see. We did a couple of videos here a while back using this and went through no problem. Of course, we were using higher velocity, but by golly, this one went through with this uh, CCI Quiet Semi-Auto, and and I'm quite impressed with this ammo. Uh, I would like to take my headset off, but like I said, yeah, I don't know. Maybe for one round just to see what it would do, but you heard how loud it was anyway. And like I said, you were setting at 10 yards, and I was firing, well, pistols I fired those just past 10 because I just passed you and the uh, the rifle here the 1022 I fired that at around 15 to 20 yards in there somewhere and uh, 
like I said, the main thing was though, how did it cycle? All of them cycled, no problems. I would definitely give the CCI Quiet Semi-Auto a thumbs up. So until next time, shoot safe and have a great day of blanking.